Hello everyone. This is Team Oxidel from Martinu Nightingale Batch. My team consists of two members: me myself, Muhammad Zohar Khalid, and Ganesh. Our project is based on online stay reservation system, which we built using technologies such as React, Redux, Books as front end, and for back end we use PostgreSQL. So let me give a brief idea about my project first. So few of the features which we try to implement in our project is login sign up, update user profile, filtering the data of particular hotels, apartments, or uh, guest rooms, filtering by size, filtering by property type, search, and hotel view feature. Then coming to booking part. We have tried to implement four features. Like we take took care of check in, we took care of check out, number of persons, number of childs, and then few of the validation which we have done. Like suppose user by mistakely entered previous month's data, so that data can you know, that data will be popped out. Like uh, you are entering previous data. Similarly for uh, for the next date. Also, there is an validation. Similarly, there are particular hotels consist of allowable person, so users cannot enter uh, maximum number of persons, as we can see here, with respect to particular uh, hotel booking. And then after doing these validations, there will be a confirm booking, uh, and there will be a one. Uh, final booking uh, confirmation page, which will user can see on its profile. So let's try to dive into my project first. First, uh, let me try to start with sign up. As you can see, on clicking sign up page, this pop up came out. Now let's try to sign up first here. Let's try to first enter some random data. Password will be case sensitive, so I'm trying to enter upper that I'm trying to include upper case as well as lower case and some symbol as well. Okay, so I've entered all these details. Now let's click on button create account. Yeah, so we can see that. Details are being submitted successfully. After clicking this OK button, we will again pop out from the sign up page, and we will again redirect to sign in page. So we can see that we are redirected to login page out here. Let's try to enter whatever sign up details which we have entered here. So let's click on sign in. Yeah. We can see that login is successfully. Now we will be redirected to home page. On home page, there is a simple UI which we try to implement here. Like first, we uh, featured few of the bedrooms which are being included here. Then coming towards little description about the project, and then at last there will be a photo. Okay, so let's try to first check my profile section. So on profile section, you can see that whatever details which we have entered during the sign up page, it is being mentioned out here. So if suppose user wants wants to change its password out here, so he can simply click on this edit button and Change its password. So let's say I want to change my password out here. So on clicking update button, we will see that 
update has been done successfully okay so now coming towards this navbar on clicking this or uh, rooms we can see that not only we can book only hotels out from here we can also book an apartment we can book hostel we can book lodge we can book guest house few of the featured guest houses and apartments respective of the data are mentioned here so user may either do search as per its convenience or you can you can go through all these uh, users all these uh, mentioned guest rooms so let me go through with with a search option let's say i am visiting pune so let me search through city let's to enter pune yeah so we can see that various results from pune came out here so let's try to visit the particular hotel so on clicking this hotel we can see that there is a nice ui showing the hotels details out here there is a check in there is a check out there is a per person style and the price is also shown here and description is also shown out here few of the room services such as free wifi respective to the um, particular hotels it is being shown out here so now let's try to book out book the hotel for us let's say going to stay on third to fifth for two days so currently we can see that the price detail is 2483 person will be gone chat will be zero so let's try to click on book now button so what we can see here a uh, page came out here which is mentioning check in check out number of persons number of childs and total number of days and we can see here that the uh, price is being also multiplied by the number of days earlier it was 2486 now it is 4966 so now on clicking this confirm booking page the payment page will come out here out here so as you can see that user can pay it uh, mention its card details and go for confirm payment so let's go for confirm payment so what we can see out here that uh, you have booked whatever hotels which i have mentioned out here and various details are present there so let's try to see whether it it is being updated in my profile or not let's click on view booking part here so what we can see that uh, on my particular profile particular hotel data is being shown out here like i have paid earlier for the particular hotel so it's showing me payment status paid user can also cancel the booking from here and this is the page which i went through confirm after confirm booking page but the user can also go and check out its suppose user wants to see its booking so what he can do he can simply click out here and go to my booking section and check out its booking here say suppose user wants to cancel its booking you can simply click on cancel booking and here a pop up alert will come out here and you can simply cancel its booking so yeah now booking has been cancelled okay so that's all feature which we try to implement out here yeah so 
now how so that's all which we try to implement thank you everyone